Thanks for joining the CyberSense presentation. Today's presentation is about CyberSense and how it integrates with the Dell EMC Cyber Recovery Vault. CyberSense is a solution that provides analytics and machine learning to really detect corruption due to a cyber attack. And if an attack does occur, CyberSense provides forensic tools to quickly detect and diagnose uh, the attack and provide a recovery plan to avoid business interruption. So we know that many customers have dozens and dozens of security solutions in place today. Uh, they've got real-time uh, protection solutions, behavioral analytics solutions, and so on. We know they're not 100% effective. We know that attacks are penetrating these real-time solutions and these security applications and getting inside the data center and corrupting um, and destroying and encrypting data. We know what the cyber criminals are doing are basically three things. They're doing data encryption. That includes encrypting files, partial encryption of files, encrypting pages inside the database. Uh, they're doing data corruption, changing file extensions to .lol, .encrypted, corrupting content in file, um, and they're doing mass deletions of data. The concept with CyberSense is to continually look for these signs of corruption, to analyze the data, audit the data, and see if there's signs of encryption or corruption or deletion. And as those are discovered, you can roll back to the last good version of the backup, uh, which is the last good or pre-attack data and avoid any business interruption. Simple concept, but I'll talk in more detail how this is deployed. So let's get into what CyberSense provides. One of the key aspects of CyberSense and what makes it so unique is the ability to directly index backup images. So without the use of the backup software or without the need to rehydrate the data out of the backup image, CyberSense can go inside that backup, scan the data, files and databases uh, with full content indexing and actually analyze and see what's happening to the content. Uh, the idea that it's integrated with backup means that as backups occur, that's a process that's in place, and data is replicated and protected, an analysis of that data can occur to look for cyber corruption. Um, CyberSense supports all the common backup formats from Dell EMC, Veritas, IBM, and Commvault. The workflow is very straightforward. So CyberSense scans data. Uh, think of a scan as an observation. So every time that a backup occurs, that's a new observation. So it compares today's observation versus tomorrow's observation versus the next day's observation and looks at how data changes over time. It's really a point in time view of the data and sees how it's uh, being modified or changed. As the data scanned, over 100 analytics are generated. Uh, these are analytics that are indicative of a cyber attack. So analytics that include uh, what we call entropy. Entropy is the random disorderness of a file or a page in a database, for example. Um, so when a entropy score increases, and we define an entropy score anywhere from zero to 100, so you can say a Word document yesterday had an entropy score of 47, the next day it's 47, the next day it's 48, the next day it turns to 99, 99 signifies encryption. So encryption of a Word doc is not you know, a total cyber attack, it could be something else, it could be a user encrypting the Word document. But what we're doing here is using other types of analytics, including uh, file, uh, file extension mismatch. So when the header of the document says this is a Word document, but we see the extension is now not a .doc extension, it could be .lol or .encrypted, um, that combined with the encryption is an attack vector. So all these analytics, including data corruption, mass deletions, mass cre creations, uh, entropy, as I mentioned, file extension mismatch um, are generated. They're fed to the machine learning algorithm that's been trained on all the common Trojans, thousands of Trojans, and dozens of, of ransomware that exist on the market today. Uh, to really basically come up with a, a indicative or a deterministic result saying, hey, it looks like there's data corruption due to a cyber attack. So it's basically like a red light, green light scenario. Um, if on every observation that occurs, it's a green light scenario saying, hey, based on the, the machine learning and the analytics, it looks like there's no corruption and we've compared it to previous observations and the data looks good, that process repeats over and over again. So the idea is you're constantly checking the integrity of your backup data to make sure that it's good and you have confidence that you can restore it if there is an attack that occurs. If the analytics kicks out a red light situation, there's a number of forensic reporting tools to diagnose and recover and determine what happened in a really minimized downtime 
by giving you a list of the last good version of those files. So let's go into the more the forensic analysis to uh, see how CyberSense works post attack. So assuming that that you've been attacked and you have a you know a, an alert from CyberSense that says, hey, it looks like there's signs of data corruption that occurs. CyberSense provides a number of um, post attack capabilities. First and most important, it'll give you a alert to tell you that it looks like there's data corruption. So the idea is every time there's a replication um, or a backup that occurs, a copy of the data occurs um, in the backup environment, um, it's analyzed and if it looks like there's signs of corruption, an alert will be generated. So you'll know within the current observation of the data that there is some signs of corruption. Secondly, it provides the investigation tools to figure out what happened. It's the who, what, where, and when. So who was impacted? How much damage was, was done? What was attacked? Listing of the corrupt files that were, were modified. Where's the source? What user account was used for the corruption? And what ransomware was used? When did it happen? What backup sets contain the last good version of the file? Answers all the questions that customers typically have when they have attacks and they're trying to recover. This is all the mystery of trying to figure out what happened, Where's the good data? How do I recover? CyberSense automates this process um, and really help facilitates recovery um, and minimize downtime. So we all know that backup is the go-to for recovery from a cyber attack. So organizations are depending on their backup software to uh, restore that data uh, when, it, when a data attack occurs, but they're not answering the, the questions or backup isn't prepared to answer the questions of what files need to be recovered. So typically organizations really go through kind of a hunt and peck approach to figure out which is the good backup, where are the good files. Um, I need to check to see the, these files have integrity and I can put them back into production. They create clean room environments to do this and, and it's a very manual intensive process. What backup sets are needed? Um, is there ransom still in the backup? So I, if I'm restoring data um, back into production, is there still ransomware in there? They're, they're very complex questions that customers uh, struggle with, but CyberSense really automates it, that process and makes that process easy. So this is the, the end result of what CyberSense outputs. I'm kind of starting here. So this is really what the, the question that customers need to have answered is, what backup sets do I need? So if you look at this, this screen here, on the upper left, you'll see a report from CyberSense of the last good version of the files before corruption existed. So it gives, can give you a report and say, you could ask CyberSense, show me all the files, whether it be 10, 20, thousands of files, um, tens of thousands of files, show me a list of all the last good versions of those files. Um, you'll see in the, in the lower screenshot, to the right, highlighted in red, that's the number of files that were corrupted. So that's what CyberSense detected as the few, a couple thousand files that were corrupted. The summary report summarizes the backup sets that need to be restored to recover the last good version of those files. So as an attack happens over time, these backups could span over a number of days or weeks. So CyberSense will automate that process and say, hey, it looks like there's corruption. Here's the last good version of these files. Just go to these backup sets, restore them in production, and you basically won't uh, avoid any, you will avoid all uh, interruption of the business. How do we get here? So as I mentioned, CyberSense provides a comprehensive index, looks at how data changes over time, applies over 100 analytics to the data. Uh, they're indicative of a cyber attack. We discussed that. Um, and finally applies machine learning that's been trained on thousands of Trojans and over 20 attack vectors to come up with a deterministic um, integrity check on the data. If there is an attack, CyberSense will kick out the specific attack vector that was executed. So the cybersecurity team in the organization would have a um, detail into what their approach is or what type of uh, ransomware is being used. It'll also list a full list of the corrupt files, a full, full path and listing and file name of the corrupt files. So here you'll know if it's, if it's five files, or if it's 50,000 or hundreds of thousands of files that were corrupt, you can know the breadth of the attack. Uh, you could also report and say, hey, are all, the, all these files located on an individual server? Are they owned by the same individual? Are they the same types of files? It could give you uh, lots of forensic analysis to help really understand what happened. Um, the event logs are also key here. So you can take the listing of file and upload it um, to event log management software. Uh, to be able to search on that and say, ask the question of who was the last user to touch these files? 
So if the last user is all John Doe, then John Doe is the breach user account that's being used to execute the data corruption. You could also ask the event log software, you know, what executable was used. So if it, maybe a thousand or 10,000 files were encrypted, what executable was used to encrypt those files? That would be your specific malware. And then finally, CyberSense outputs um, the listing of the last good copy of the files and the backup sets that they're included on. So a full, full workflow that will give you basically a, a, a run book to go through and figure out exactly what happened and assist in the recovery process. As I mentioned, CyberSense is integrated with the Dell EMC Cyber Recovery product. This is a dashboard of the Dell EMC Cyber Recovery solution. You'll see highlighted in red when an alert occurs with CyberSense, it'll automatically be integrated and displayed with the Cyber Recovery dashboard. All that integration work is done. The process is fully automated. All, all you need to do is look at the dashboard and see if there's an alert that's generated and uh, in that case, data corruption has occurred. Attached to the alerts comes a full listing of all the analytics. You don't really need to look at these, but this gives you a sense of, of the um, detail that CyberSense is analyzing when it, when it um, scans the data or the backup image. You know, it looks at the entropy, as I mentioned, it looks at file extension mismatch, it looks at deleted file counts, it looks at file sizes, lots of different details that are really indicative of a cyber attack. What you do need to look at, as I mentioned, is the attack vector. So CyberSense is gonna give you the specific attack vector here, it's saying this is attack vector number six that's being executed. Um, you can correlate it to the full listing of attack vectors that CyberSense tracks. As I mentioned, there's about 28 different types of attack vectors that are being analyzed with CyberSense. Uh, the top six are really the, the dominant ones. They're 99 plus percent of what cyber criminals are doing today. So in the previous slide, we mentioned that there was attack vector number six. So it's a common attack, which includes encryption of the file and uh, corrupting the file name. So you can see that that is what is occurring there. It's an automated output from CyberSense. Um, you can use the CyberSense search capability to search on the files. Here you can see, if you look closely at the listings, you can see some files listed like 0001.doc. That's the last good version. You see the, the word icon there um, and the .doc extension that looks all good. You can look at the detailed metadata um, and it's, it's a you know, pre-attack file. That's the last good version of it. Just above it, you'll see uh, the dot .doc dot .fun, so they appended the dot .fun extension, which is a common extension that cyber criminals use to corrupt the file. And you can see that the word icon is gone and it's just a question mark there, so CyberSense can't even taste the file or read the header of the file. The file's been corrupted. So you can see there is a report showing the, the last good version and the corrupted version. And those are all auto-tagged uh, by CyberSense, so you can easily view them and, and, and find them. And finally, back to this report. So again, since if you just run a report saying, show me the last good version of all the files, as you see there on the upper left, um, you can run a report that say, summarize what backup sets these exist in. And you can see here a listing of about nine different backup sets that contain a couple thousand files that it, are the last good version of the files that need to be restored back on the network to avoid any downtime. It'll eliminate and overwrite all those corrupt files. That's a high level intro. I uh, wanted to keep it short and sweet today for, um, for your benefit. If you do have more questions or you'd like more details on CyberSense and how it works with the Dell EMC Cyber Recovery product, uh, check out our website, www.indexengines.com or send us a direct email at info at and we'll be happy to, to, to discuss uh, your environment and how CyberSense can help you, um, you know, detect and recover quickly from cyber attacks. Thanks for your attention and look forward to speaking with you in the future.